consistently strong anti-war message. We don't need another war. Understood. And you make that point quite a lot. Is one that resonates with many U.S. troops today. I don't believe that we should be over in these other countries messing around. He wants to close the 900 overseas bases that we are funding at a very expensive and growingly more expensive rate there that is bankrupting this country. Well, hundreds of active duty troops, veterans, and their families are gathered here by the Washington Monument. They will be marching to the White House to show their solidarity and support for Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul. Often ignored. Yeah, they deserve do. more than one mention on all the stations. Somebody went and added this, these all up. Thank you, <laughs> so, so what's going on hey, here? You, you're in this here. media business. How did Libertarian Ron Paul become the 13th floor in a hotel? When his message isn't being cut off. Well, I think it would be even more dangerous to start nitpicking wars with other countries. Someone like Iran. Israel is more than capable of. All right, we just lost our tech connection, unfortunately. The mainstream media would have you believe the military doesn't back Paul. The top three contributors of the Air Force, the Army, and the Navy. And, you know, compare that to somebody like Mitt Romney, whose top donations are like Goldman Sachs. In fact, Paul gets far more campaign donations from members of the military than any other presidential candidate. Ron Paul seems to be the only person that's uh, representing us instead of the... Uh, defense contractors and bankers. The danger is really us overreacting, and we need a strong national defense, and we need to only go to war with a declaration of war and just carelessly flouting it and starting these wars so often. President! Oh! Sick of fighting seemingly never-ending wars overseas, these soldiers are ready for radical change, and the only hope for that, they say, is getting Paul into the White House. Oh! Oh! In Washington. Liz Wall, RT.